One of the most iconic scenes in Predator 2 is when a whole clan of Predators showed up near the end of the film. This clan is now famously known as the Lost Tribe. And Naker released action figures of each member of the tribe, starting with, The Elder Predator, on 2010. The OG Lost Tribe, has been sought after, and then Naker decided to release new ultimate versions. In this video we'll take a look at all the OG Lost Tribe, Greyback Predator. Also known as Elder Predator and Golden Angel. Greyback is the leader of the Lost Tribe. His first known visit on Earth is during 1718 where he got a flintlock pistol from Raffaella Delini, a leader of a small band of pirate, who he helped during a mutiny. Years later he would return, this time, with his very own, hunting party. It isn't clear, what their purpose is. But in the end, one of his clan member, City Hunter, dies while hunting. They retrieve the body and take off into space. Nako created two versions of the Elder Predator. The new one released on 2015 has a separate sculpted loincloth and a more detailed head sculpt and better articulation. Shaman Predator is also known as Hippie Predator because of his long dreads. He also wields a staff with pointed blades at the tip, adorned with bones, which resembles the staff of a shaman. No one knows if he studies the mystic arts. Boar Predator Named after the boar-like appearance of his biomask, together with Stalker, they are the intergalactic mercenaries known as the Boar Brothers. Boar is aggressive and brawny and loves to execute. He's the muscle of the Lost Tribe and would go to battles unarmed, using only his brute force. Stalker Predator The younger and more reserved of the two Boar Brothers. Stalker is the quiet and meticulous type who uses his brains on combat. They were taken by Greyback. After stealing from him, instead of killing them, he decided to train and recruit them instead. Snake Predator Also known as the Shadow Predator. He got his nickname because of the snake-like patterns on his skin. He is stealthy, quick and cunning. Snake would avoid direct confrontations, but he would take out his enemies, using the environment and its shadows. Like his namesake, he strikes with deadly precision. Guardian Predator, also known as Gorth. He was once a temple guard, and served as a bodyguard protecting clan leaders. His skills are similar to a soldier's, than a hunter. He was chosen by Greyback himself, because of his expertise, with high-powered artillery and explosives. Warrior Predator, also known as Ram, because of the way his biomask resembles the horns of a ram. Little is known about this blue-skinned predator, but Greyback must have seen something in him, to make him join the legendary Lost Tribe Predators. Scout Predator Also known as the Lost Hunter, he was born on harsh and isolated island. This island is known for breeding unique hunters, specializing in stealth and long-range kills. Scout is a master of precision, as well as reconnaissance, and strategic observation. As a part of Greyback's Lost Thrive, he is a sniper, terminating secondary targets from a distance. Lost Predator, also known as Borg, because of his armor which has a cybernetic appearance. It's also a homage, 
to a cyborg race, in Star Trek, called Borgs. A master of weapons, this mysterious mercenary of the rogue space tribe was originally part of Greyback Soul Crew. Among the members of Lost Thrive, Borg is the most adept in using new technology. He uses knives on swords instead of the traditional Predator wrist blade. On 2014, Naka re released Lost Predator. But this time, they retooled him and gave him a high tech biomask that is almost robotic in appearance. They also gave him a more advanced plasma caster and added more armor. This was the basis of the design for the release of the ultimate lost predator. That is why the non-armored Borg predator is still sought after. City Hunter Predator Also known as Ghost, for his stealthy method of killing opponents. City Hunter is the main predator in Predator 2. Although the Lost Tribe landed in Los Angeles in 1997, City Hunter is the only predator who actively hunted humans. He took advantage of an ongoing turf war between the Colombian Scorpions and the Jamaican Voodoo Posse. His activities caught the attention of Lieutenant Mike Harrigan and the OWLF team, a group tasked to capture extraterrestrials and aliens for study. The Predator easily dispatched the OWLF team, but Mike Harrigan eventually beat him using the Predator's own smart disc. Mike Harrigan followed the wounded Predator back to his mother ship where he met the Lost Tribe, but pardoned to live for defeating City Hunter in a fair fight. He was given a 17th century flintlock pistol as a trophy. As the main predator in Predator 2, Nako created multiple versions of him. From unmasked, to masked, and a wounded version wearing a rebreather mask. Exclusive to a two-pack. All these versions are eventually released again in the ultimate format. Despite completing the OG Lost Thrive, Naka made some nice upgrades on the re-release of the ultimate versions. That makes it hard not to pick up. The additional head sculpt, accessories, and updated articulation, makes the original version, something that you can ignore. Unless you're die-hard, predator completist. We hope that you enjoyed our little video, feel free to subscribe, we are big Predator fans, who still have a lot of Predator stuff to show. Thanks for watching.